Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to quickly test if that kind of content is interesting for you. I'm quite excited to do some more in-depth machine learning, so ideas to code algorithms from scratch, while besides showing the math behind it so that you're getting kind of an interactive way to understand how machine learning algorithms are working. I won't get too much into the math in this one, but I'm also open to do that, so your feedback would be appreciated. I once did that roughly two years ago on neural nets and then dropped it, but I want to give it another chance. So for this video, I'm switching between an article from Chris McCormick, which I will link below, and I highly recommend to read that article before watching this video. I'm showing the essential formulas he derived in his article, and I'm transforming that into code. So as you see, topic is grading descent, an optimization algorithm finding the best fitting line for a given dataset. So let's get started. We need NumPy and Matplotlib, that's already it. Then I'm going to set up my independent variable x and my dependent variable y. And for both I'm just using random data, so this will create an array of 20 random values between 0 and 1. So x is looking like this, y is looking like this. To visualize you can use a scatter plot, so our data is looking like this. And next we want to fit a line between those points. And the method you're normally using, so for instance, when working with the sklearn library, it is using a computational method, which is called least squares, which I already covered in a video some years ago. I will try to find it and link it in the video description. So I will show you the best fitting line using the least squares method now before doing the gradient descent iteration, which is an iterative method contrary to the least squares method, which is a computational method. So least squares, we can just import sklearn linear model, then set up the model as linear regression. And then fit the model to our data. So in sklearn, you have to reshape the independent variable like this. So model fit to our data. Now we have the parameters, which is the slope, so the coefficient and the intercept. So these are the parameters of the line. So the equation of the line in general, slope times x values plus intercept, right? This is the intercept this is the slope or coefficient. Now to visualize this optimal line or the best fitting line, you can just extend the scatter plot, which I deleted, sorry. So scatter x and y. And now let's plot the line with those optimal parameters. So we're just plotting x and then using the line equation here. So m times x, m is the optimal coefficient times x plus the intercept. This will plot the best line with the least squares method. And this is looking like this. All right. And now we want to at least get close to that line using the iterative method gradient descent. So let's switch to Chris McCormick. We have update rules and we have derivatives and that's essentially what we need. So before we start, we have to set our parameters of this optimization to an initial value. And I'm just starting with zero. So that is the slope m and b is my intercept. That is also zero. We have to define the learning rate and I'm just setting that to 0.1. And these are our parameters for the gradient descent. And now let's set up a loop for i in range and start with 100 iterations. What is the first step in that loop? First step in that loop is to find this. And if you have read the article, you know that this one here is just the predicted y. So this is the actual y and this is the predicted y. So this part of the 
a function is the predicted y. So I'm going to define that predicted y. And you already know what the predicted y is because you know the equation for a line. So y predict is, as I showed here, is just m times x plus b. So I'm also using that m times x plus b. This is all predicted y. And now we need derivatives. We need the partial derivative of the intercept, which is this one here, and the partial derivative of the coefficient, which is this one here. So this one is quite straightforward, right? We have one divided by m, and m is not the coefficient using his notations, but m is just the data points. So in our case, it is 20, right? It's just the length of the data you have provided. So in our case, it's simply, so I'm going to call that partial derivative PD of my intercept is simply one divided by 20. So this is this one. And now times the sum of the predicted y minus the actual y, right? So times sum of the predicted y minus the actual y. That's already the partial derivative for my intercept, this one. Also, we need the partial derivative of the slope, and that is basically the same times x, right? So just copy paste, partial derivative of m, the slope, 1 divided by 20, this one, then the sum of this expression. So just sum of y prep mi minus y times x here, right? And important, set the right parentheses here. So partial derivative of b and m calculated. Now we need the update rules. Right, so this is our uh, intercept parameter, so our b, and that is equal to the previous b or the initial b in the first iteration minus the learning rate times the partial derivative, which we already calculated, right, or defined in our code. So b minus learning rate times the partial derivative. So quite straightforward b is b, so initial or previous b, minus learning rate times the partial derivative of b. Update rule for our slope, the same, right? So just previous value or initial value, m minus learning rate times partial derivative of m. So let's run this and see what we are getting. So m, we're getting this one, b, we're getting this one, quite close to least squares, right? So we can take a look at that, plt scatter x, y, then scatter y, uh, sorry, x and y pret, right? y pret is of course the same as m times x plus b, right? Makes sense. So I'm just plotting y pret here. And as you see, we are getting quite close to the line uh, predicted, not predicted, but um, calculated by least squares, all right? So can we get closer? So the least squares values were 0.233 something and 0.355. Yeah. So let's increase the number of iterations. We should get closer with that. So now we see we have 0 0.2337, 0 0.2338. Close enough, right? So this is gradient descent. So an iterative 
alternative to using the least squares method. I hope this was interesting, helpful in the best case. And yeah, let me know what you think. I think these topics are really nice. And yeah, I'm looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.